I think so. Side note here. <laughs> One of the things, there's a movie coming out that everybody should watch. It's it's slowly making the rounds called Dirty Coin. Uh, a friend of mine uh, mm -hmm. put that together. Uh, and the entire point of Dirty Coin is like, it's not, what we're seeing uh, is is mining in two forms. One is somebody has this giant, you know, warehouse filled with miners and they're all buzzing along and yay. Uh, yeah. And then the other is uh, there's a bunch of, you know, there's individual miners who point their uh, hash power at a pool. Most people just know about those, but there is a growing, important and growing uh, opportunity uh, for a different kind of mining, which is you're selling not just the mining, but you're selling the utility of the mining equipment, which is you're selling heat or you're selling um, uh, stability. So, for example, uh, if you've got a hydro jam dam in the middle of Africa supplying a little tiny village, the usage, the use of that power goes up and down with day and night or whatever and turning bitcoin miners on and off to accommodate that such that all the power is being used at all the time um, allows a hydro dam to be uh allows the dam to be fully utilized uh, all the time so there's money being made for the village and there's uh, and the village gets all the power they need um that is that is super useful, especially yeah. as we go to this paradigm, most a lot that I hate, of uh, wind, water, uh, wind, water, solar, uh, wind, water, sun to power things. When you can't control as it goes up and down, miners when it's when there's too much power, miners can be there producing, stabilizing the network, uh, and then they get turned off. That's a lot of capital, but yeah. it can last a long time. The other one is uh, industrial heat. Um, so there are tons of processes uh, that require industrial heat within the range of Bitcoin miners. Usually it's like fruit drying, timber drying, uh, things like that. But there's other ones, too. Uh, so they've got heaters. They've just got things in there, either burning fossil fuels or burning electricity just to heat. Whereas you can route that energy through miners and subsidize and make a win-win situation. So the key is we, we, the miners need to be creative on, on what they're selling. Uh, so, so they, they're, I know they're being rewarded been for reading a lot about that. Yeah. So how do you get around the, um, you know, we talked about earlier that the short life cycle of those uh, mining machines, right? Because they very quickly get outdated and not profitable anymore. So how, mm -hmm. how does it get around that in a static infrastructure that... If they're, if they're sized right, when I was looking at it, if they're sized right, like I did a model for after the, this past happening and I got it working, I, you know, if you like these heating things are, let's put it this way. The, the single miner puts out five, 6,000 Watts of heat, a heating uh, manufacturing plant that 